Hey everybody, Caleb here. I'm just, before we get into this uh, third and final part of our marathon stream video, uh, I just want to let you know, uh, the marathon stream ended not too long ago. Uh, pretty happy with it. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, definitely not going to be doing anything nearly that long in the future, but it was really nice to get uh, a, a really long Animal Crossing session in there. You know, we, we had a lot of fun. We did a whole lot in the game, and uh, and there's a whole lot more to come uh, in the game and on this channel as well. We're going to be getting into um, like tutorial videos and stuff, and uh, expect more daily videos here uh, from from the streams, um, like like what we've been doing, uh, where it's just like cut up bits of the stream, and then kind of if you want more uh, Animal Crossing content. There's always the streams. There's a uh, there's a good um, like six month backlog on the vods that you can check out if that's your thing. Uh, I'm not gonna post the whole thing on YouTube though. That's uh, no nobody you know most people don't, don't want to see that. Anyway, it's, it's very late, so I'm, I'm getting a little rambly. Uh, but this is you know the the third part. Uh, we're very late into the marathon stream at this point in the video. Uh, so the the commentary is is pretty awful, but I did want to showcase day three in New Horizons. Uh, but yeah, there's there's gonna be more to come from me here and uh, and on other social media platforms. And as always, we are streaming daily on Twitch. So if that is your thing, you know, go check it out. Anyways, New Horizons is a blast. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. And uh, I will I will see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, this is Tom Duck. It's 5 a.m. at this happy Saturday, March 21st, 2020. Now for today's news, some stunning news just in. We're moving forward with the construction of the Rojava Museum. Neither Blathers nor I imagined we'd be getting ready to build a museum on his very first day on the island. We're very grateful for everyone's cooperation. Okay, so the museum's not built yet. Bummer. Anywho, we've started construction for the museum at the very spot where Blathers has his tent. So sorry to have you all like this today. It is a shame to suspend your scientific endeavors. However, I hope having our splendid new museum completed by tomorrow will make up for this little setback. That was a little message Blathers asked me to pass on to all of you. Also, my staff, Tina and Tommy, opened up their new shop today. It's a small shop, but they'll change stock daily and carry a selection of goods sure to better your island life. It's open from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., so it's a bit early yet, but I do hope you'll pop in later. That's a good segue, though. When the shop isn't open, you can still take advantage of the drop-off box. Drop off anything you don't need, and our shop stewards will send payment to your account later. Uh, one more thing, to celebrate the opening of the shop, we've added a new catalog service to Nook Shopping. The catalog lets customers see a record of items they've obtained or purchased. Any mass marketed items can be ordered directly through the catalog, so make good use of it. Now then, with all that said, I hope everyone takes advantage of the new Nook's Cranny. By the way, whenever we cover big island developments like this, we'll hold a special commemorative ceremony afterward. We'd like as many folks as possible to take part, so stop by resident services if you're interested. Oh dear, never fails. Of course this would happen right in the middle of the broadcast. Uh, uh, one moment please. Hello, this is Tom Nook from Nook Inc. Yes, what? The getaway package? Why yes, 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 of course. And that's all for today's Island Wide broadcast. Ah, so sorry to put you on hold. Allow me to give you a full overview of the... <laughs> Yo, we got new villages moving in, apparently. That's Pogtastic. Alrighty. Daisy fucking May. Let's go. Oh, jeez. There's so much shit. Is a little cold though. Okay. 
Your home is much roomier, yes? It's nice to have even a little extra space. Which brings us to the cost of your rebuttal. That'll be 198,000 bells. Ah, oh, yes, please make your payments using the Nookstop's ABD feature as you've done before. As always, it's been ever so nice doing business with you. Yes, yes. Ah, uh, Caleb, good to see you. Hold the phone, someone's calling. <laughs> okay, Nook. Hello, you've reached Nook Inc. Oh, you saw our ad. I see. Hmm. Yes, of course. Don't worry about a thing. We can set up your getaway package to include a lovely furnished home. Mm -hmm. Oh, not at all. We'll set up your move-in date at a later time. No, no, no trouble at all. I just need to draw up the proper contracts. Understood. We will get back to you very soon. Thank you. Caleb, sorry to keep you waiting. I suppose you overheard the call I just got. For some time now, I've been advertising the Rojava getaway package. And wouldn't you know it, out of the blue, we have three interested parties. I'm so excited to find out who they are. Glad to hear it. Yes, yes, it's quite wonderful. Thank you, thank you. Er, wonderful, except for one minor little detail. None of our applicants are too fond of the notion of sleeping in tents, you see. I'm afraid I got caught up in the excitement of persuading them to move here, and I may have promised them fully furnished homes. Three homes, setting aside the land, preparing all the furnishings. It's just too much for one raccoon. So sad. Yo! But, Caleb, here you are in my hour of need. It most certainly must be fate. Did you help me get these homes prepared, all three of them? Of course, I hope to give you a good and proper thank you for your assistance. Of course. Thank you, thank you so much. I'll never forget this. Oh, you're going to need some top secret instructions. When you're ready, come talk to me. Use the phrase, what should I do? Agent Nook out. Oh, this is fun. Silly, silly. Yep, Timby and Tombi are gone. And he set up golf. <laughs> Hell yeah. Still nothing in the in the box. Oh yeah, I didn't open that message in a bottle. Oopsie doopsies. To whoever found this, I really wanted to make an item as like an homage to my favorite pop star and came up with this recipe. I'll share it with you since you found this bottle. Go get your arts and crafts on. The DIY pop 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 garden wagon. Let's go. Huh. Okay. Garden wagon. Boom bam. Curious. Garden wagon. Oh wow. That's a lot of that's a lot of different flowers. Cool. I'm gonna favorite that because that's interesting. Also gonna favorite this one. I think I'm just gonna use the drop-off box like all the time because uh, <laughs> it'd be it'd be a little shitty if it was unavailable while they were open. But it's nice being able to sell shit without having to go all the way in there. Um, knowing that, um, <laughs> knowing that this is where you sell the stuff now. I would probably put it closer to my house, not gonna lie. But that's okay. Bridges, one like here, 
and another like right in front. That's fuck it. We can have lots of bridges. We need regular wood and iron nuggies. Cool. Yeah, I like our little fit. It's really cute, actually. Am I wearing those uh, white pants? Okay, good. Yeah, I like this fit a lot. <laughs> I like it a lot. Alright, we'll set that down. And then we'll craft this thing real quick. There we go. Got plenty of iron nuggets. Yo, it's so good. We can go tops. We can go boom, change it to that. It's so good. Thank <laughs> you. 